Good morning. So this video is for Kim, but really any nail tech who's looking at upgrading their nail desk. So this is the client side. I'm just going to give you a little tour. This is their wee table. They can put their things on that dish. Anything that they want they can put up here. I usually make them a hot drink. So they've got a wee menu there just under the glass. I had this glass made by a local glazier just so that I can acetone or um, alcohol wipe it down and just not worry about any of my um, polishes or things damaging the top of the desk. So that's the client chair. It's really, really comfy. It's like, it's like feels like a big hug when you sit in it. Um, yeah, that's really comfy. All the clients love that. And then this is my side of the desk. So I'll start with the coffee table. I usually have my mask down here with my phone. And then there's my glasses that I usually grab when I'm getting a bit um, tired with my eyes by the end of the day. I'm just panning here over the two daylight lamps. So I've got two of them. I did used to have two desks in here, so I was able to keep that second light. So I have like light all the way across the whole width of my desk. And then I use a cordless dust extractor. So I just plug it in when I'm not with clients. And um, that is amazing. So because this has a glass top on the desk, I wanted something that was cordless. I didn't want to have to cut into the glass and then have another little ledge for dust to get into. I have my two curing lamps on the end here and I got hubby to install one of these things that you see on office desks so that all my cords are just nice and tidy and I will show you the hot mess of what the cords are in my drawer. So I got him to join these two top drawers together see and all my cords hide in there so that's really really tidy and you can see my um, my daylight lamp runs along here around that corner just so that I can have one from the right side of the desk as well so that's that drawer I'll keep going on this side my next drawer down is where I keep all my disposable stuff so those are all my single-use files and my gloves then this is where my dirty tools go and my used filters go. This here will be a bit of a mess. This is just random like filming voiceover equipment. And then on the other side, this is, I'm right handed, so everything on my right. So this is the stuff that I use the most of, like my base and top coats, my builders, some other builders, some IBX and a few nail art items that I grab quite frequently. My next drawer is probably the next most often things that I grab. So I've got like my acetone, isopropyl, hand cream. I've got some sculpting forms back there, my airbrush. I've got heaps of these sanding bands and the two grits. Just chopped up kitchen towel. That's what I like to use instead of lint-free wipes. Some foil wraps. I've got my soft gel tips at the back there. I don't usually use them. I honestly usually um, sculpt. I've got my air file that I just tuck away in the drawer and my um, all my brushes and things just so I can quickly grab them. Again, the hubby made this drawer like a double by joining at the back in there. So it's really good to be able to have the height in the drawer for things like my hand cream, those pump bottles, my air file, just so it all tucks away. This one here is all my stamping gear and some sugar-free lollies if I get a bit low. So I've got my stampers, yeah, and a couple of books of plates. And then this drawer here, I've got um, ombre sponges, all my chrome, airbrush ink, Swarovski crystals, whole lot of foil, some more chromes, chrome sticks. These are all cat's eye polishes, magnetic ones. And then a whole lot of another brand that I was um, having a play with, really like it actually and they um, have really cool glow in the darks. I've also got a whole thing of watercolour paints there as well. So that's my side of the desk. It's most of the stuff that I use in the day. Behind the desk is where I keep all of my gel polish, 
nail polish stamping polish art gels and glitters and some more chromes so yeah i hope that was helpful kim and anyone else who wanted to have a little tour even maybe some clients probably found that interesting to have a look in my side of the drawers but yeah if you have any questions just flick me a dm